This orange rubber syringe dating to the 1900s has a round bulb at one end and a long thin nozzle at the other. The original packaging was in a blue cardboard box advertised as whirling spray ladies syringe. The box with the syringe and matching cone shaped attachment were found under the floorboards of a terraced house in Clapham. The box claims that it is the latest and best syringe ever intended to thoroughly cleanse the vagina. What the box doesn't say is that the syringe was also a form of contraception common from the mid 1800s to 1900s. This syringe would have been used by dipping the nozzle into water or a prepared liquid spermicide, squeezing and releasing the bulb to suck the liquid into the douche, then inserting the nozzle into the vagina and squeezing the bulb to spray the liquid and clean the vagina. The hidden nature of this particular whirling spray speaks of secrecy, shame and the illicit contraceptive use of this vaginal douche in the user's Clapham household. From the 1800s onwards, debates about birth control, population size, social morality, and the role of men and women in managing fertility emerged across Europe, America, and Australia. Although pregnancy and childbirth were extremely dangerous, many felt that artificial contraception was immoral, and the only way to control population size was through late marriage or abstinence. We do not know who used this syringe, only that the owner felt compelled to hide it, and in hiding it, they reveal to us the ancient and ongoing human desire to control fertility and the struggle between pleasure and pain.